So a friend of mine gave me this a uh, little fire vehicle here that he found buried in his yard. And other than the dirt and the play wear, it was in pretty good shape and he knows I do this stuff. So he cleaned it out and gave it to me. At first I had no idea what it is. So I took a picture of the bottom and had some weird logo on it. And I, I put it on a Facebook group I belong to and got lots of really clever answers. Like it's a fire truck or it's a Range Rover. Uh, yeah, okay. Anyway, I did figure out that it's a majorette and it's supposed to have a plastic ladder on the top of it. And like most die casts, it was held together with a, a single folded over post. The suspension was kind of a neat thing. Majorette uh, is a French company and they were founded in 1961 and they were originally called Rail Route as they made model railroads and accessories and in 1964 they made their first toy cars. They changed the name of the company in 1967 to Majorette. This post was a little narrower than what I'm generally accustomed to but it looked thick enough that I should be able to tap it. Majorette was often called the Matchbox Toys of France. They eventually became the largest toy car manufacturer in France. And I gotta put it back together, right? So it needs a screw. The car it's modeled after the Range Rover, well that was introduced by Land Rover in 1970 and they make them even today. I think this was called a three-door and from 1970 to 1996 they were only available in two-door models. They they were a bit more luxurious than the Series 1 and Series 2 Land Rovers, but uh, they weren't a luxury SUV until 2002. And of course, I you know need to clean that post up so that it goes back together easily. And then we're just going to drop it in some aircraft stripper. You know, and I actually started doing this thing like in June. You know, if you do this long enough, everybody gets to have one of those one of those little castings that's a real pain, and this was one of mine. It wasn't a bad casting, it's really stout. You know, I mean it's it's thick. Uh, the detail is not quite as detailed as the Lesney castings, but it's not too bad. Like I say, it's really a sturdy casting. It's uh, really well put together. It's easy to see why they were successful. Now it had these two little like ear things on the back that I'm guessing were to uh, like a ladder frame and I contemplated leaving them on there and painting them black or something like the new SUVs have on them but this is a kind of a period piece so I guess I really can't do that. Um, so I ground them off and, and uh, filed the roof smooth. And then, of course, uh, once I get that done, then I go after it with some sanding. I'm using foam sanding blocks that I bought. Um, I use them once in a while. I don't know. They don't work real well for everything that I do. To fill the... I wanted to fill the little hole because there was, I'm sure, some kind of a ladder clip or something that held that ladder onto the the little toy so i'm using glazing and spot putty which is an actual um you know big car product but uh, i use it in this applications a lot uh, i have milliput now but or milliputty i guess it's called but um, i still use this a lot because it's just really easy to work with Smooth it out a little bit here with a toothpick and uh, 
I set it aside. I don't even know how long I set it aside. Probably several days. And uh, then I go after it with this little, you know, f flat file or half moon file, whatever you want to call it. I get I, That way I can get right up next to the beacon and get it sanded really smooth. And, of course, now I, ha I, I go to a finer sandpaper. Trying to make that little rectangle invisible. The wheels just popped out. They were junk, like super fast Matchbox wheels. But I kind of like the suspension. Um, the base plate, I, I just cleaned it up. I didn't take that little suspension piece out. I just left it in. I cleaned it up and I painted the bottom of it black. And I put a little primer on my hole here and see if I missed any spots. And there was a couple of little... Uh, pinhole so I sanded this thing smooth again uh, and actually the primer kind of filled in the pinholes rather nicely so I sanded this thing and brushed this thing right back down to the metal and uh, went over it with some 4 aught steel wool wiped it down with some mineral spirits And there it is on some helping hands. Oop, and I touch it. Ah! Anyway, uh, white primer. Tamiya white. And this, of course, is where the fun began. So I'm not going to uh, bore you with me painting this thing over and over. I think I eventually painted it five times. And wound up redoing the hole in the roof a couple of times. The first time I painted it red. And I put a big old thumbprint in the paint that was not fully cured. That was my own damn fault. So that was actually when I started baking paint jobs. So then I thought, well, you know, I'm going to get creative. And I painted it red and black. This is a very common theme in uh, American fire departments right now. And I got it all done. I was actually done with it and I had decals on it. And uh, I wanted to clear coat over the decals and for some reason, I'm not even still to this day sure why, uh, the clear coat hazed over and ruined the paint. So then I painted it red again and uh, it's, it was a beautiful paint job. It was an absolutely beautiful paint job. And unbeknownst to me, I'm again, I'm done. I'm assembling it. And there's a piece of plastic on the top of the uh, window unit that I didn't notice was sticking up. And it punched out the little plug that I put in uh, to block that hole. So I started over again, and by now, just so you know, I'm, I'm out of fire department decal. So I thought, well, I'll make a cop car out of it. And this went really well, and uh, till I started, I painted the orange, and one side of the orange went on great, and then it's like somebody flipped a switch, and all of a sudden the paint was really thin, and it ran into all the cracks of the doors and everything. And uh, as much as I had tried to fix it when I got all done, I just wasn't happy with it and said to hell with it. And that was when I realized what the problem was. You see, I, th I think this majorette, not unlike its current owner, was tired of a life of service and it didn't want to do it anymore. So I decided to just step away from it entirely and I painted it pearl blue, midnight blue to be exact. I removed all the emergency equipment. Uh, this is Create Text Blue mixed with some uh, Artiscape Black. I wanted to darken it just a little bit. Of course, I did a wheel swap with some green lights. Uh, on the back there, on the tail lights, what I did was I uh, scrape the blue paint down to the casting and used uh, translucent red. I took the seating, there was seating in the back, and I took it out and replaced it with just a straight up styrene floor. 
which you can see right there. And several coats of urethane clear. Now that's what I call a retired Range Rover. Stick around for an episode of The Bench. This is Time Rider. And I'll leave the light on for you. So thanks for sticking around for this episode of The Bench. Yeah, that there, that's retired. That's retired and ready to do some fishing. Okay, so I think I told you all that I was working on this uh, 39A uh, Mark II convertible and uh, it's painted and I'm ready to start some assembly and and then I'll have to do a video. You know, I haven't done anything with the video yet, but uh, I think the paint turned out uh, really, really nice. I'm very, very happy with that. And then uh, I was digging around in some stuff and I found this Lotus that somebody had clearly decided was blue. And I actually have the decals for it, but uh, I have another one too. So I think I'm going to do something with this. I don't know what yet, but uh, something a little different. And then uh, I finally got a 8E Mustang that is destroyed enough. Uh, that I can do a custom and desecrate this casting without having the entire Matchbox 1 through 75 community uh, trying to lynch me. But anyway, that's kind of what's going on along with some other things and I have some videos coming up. So uh, click likey like, subscribe, whatever. This is Time Rider. <laughs>